Michael Yao show. What did you exactly say? Because I want to make sure. <laughs> yeah. So what I said is that what doctors tell you about fat and cholesterol is wrong. Um, but so it will lead to high cholesterol if you abuse it. I would imagine anything you abuse will lead to something bad. Okay. Here's what's going to blow your mind. High cholesterol is not bad. Then why do every time people go into the doctors, why do they say, hey, you need to get down your cholesterol? If it isn't bad, why are doctors saying it's bad? Because we learn the wrong stuff. And the reason we learn the wrong stuff is because the best way to control what people eat is to scare them. Um, and this goes back to some interesting history. There's some real important American history that uh, everybody who wants to be healthy might want to waken up to. And it's a, it sounds like a geeky little niche piece of history. It's about the American Heart Association, which in the early 1940s had a big decision to make. They used to be, the American Heart Association used to be a uh, professional orga organization of uh, medical doctors that was an educational organization only. They decided in the 1940s they wanted to become a lobbying orga organization and um, they sold their soul to do that. They sold their soul to Procter & Gamble who gave them a $1.5 million grant. Procter & Gamble was the producer of Crisco, which is made out of cottonseed oil. And this was all brokered by a gentleman named Ansel Keys, who is um, the he, he's the most evil guy in history. I'm, I'm, he, he's like they call him the father of the diet heart hypothesis at Harvard. And Harvard celebrates him as somebody who helped us understand the real cause of heart attacks as saturated fat and cholesterol. But it's just nonsense. The real cause of heart attacks never was saturated fat or cholesterol. He was a, basically an egomaniac who wanted to uh, get credit for solving the mystery of heart attacks, which at that point in time was a terrifying thing um, made famous by Eisenhower. President Eisenhower was a beloved president who uh, was stuck in the hospital for eight weeks during a time of crisis. Um, in the 1940s. So this critical time in history in the 40s and early 50s set up the stage for uh, Madison Avenue to get control of what doctors say, believe, learn, teach, and preach. And so ever since the 1940s, increasingly doctors have been um, preaching the wrong stuff about fat and cholesterol.